I would invite Vishpala Madam to uh, start her lecture today. So today, yeah. Yeah. we took this very strange title actually, Quick on the Draw. So what does Quick on the Draw mean? Really, this is a phrase, it's a cowboy lingo act. From the wild, wild west in the old days, when people honed their skill on how fast they can draw out their guns. You can see the photo, it is down. When you're, they were always cowboys, there was no real, uh, any law and order and people just shot each other as they wanted and whoever was best at shooting, they survived. So one survived on how quickly you could draw out your gun. That is why it is called quick on the draw. In today's times, doctors survive on how fast you can diagnose disease and then treat it. For the homeopath, you survive on how fast and how accurately you can find the remedy. So I thought it was very apt title. You can take acute, we'll be taking acute cases. Some will be taking a little not so acute cases. But the main thing is that we found the remedy quickly and we got the result quickly. That is the idea. Okay. So in today's webinar, we want to show you these kind of cases which led to rapid amelioration because you found the remedy correctly, the similar So NDIH has been bringing you challenging cases and carrying you forward on not only how to handle cases and patients, but also how to handle life. So it will continue this journey, only now it will be digital and much more frequent. So today's case, let's start with a case. A very elegant, intelligent, highly educated, and foppish. What does foppish mean? Foppish means, again, well-dressed or at least differently dressed. Older gentleman of 80 years consulted on 15, 6, 20. So we are talking about during this same lockdown period. So he was 80 years old, a PhD, a South Indian and single. So he came with right side back and thoracic pain since July 2019, which is a whole year and for which he took no treatment. So is this acute or is this not acute? Actually, it was acute because he was in pain, but he thought he will get over it by himself and he didn't want to take medicine. So pain is twisting, sprain-like with stiffness. What happened was a year ago, he fell on his back when the dog jumped on him. And then since then, he's been having this pain and he refused, he didn't take any medicine for it. So he can't raise his hand. Every jerk or every turn in bed gives him pain. It is only better when he has a hot bath or he has used hot compresses. The other complaints he had was abdominal fullness, bloating. This is because he didn't complain about it. He came only for backache. But in homeopathy, you take the whole case. So you find out whatever else is there. So that flatus when he passes, he is better. Mostly after all kinds of beans and dals. We have a rubric like that, more in the morning and more in the evening. If you think like this, you immediately think of lycopodium. So is lycopodium the remedy? Don't jump, don't jump. Constipation since April 2020, no pressure and no satisfaction and thirst is less. So he hates to look at himself. And the other complaint again, which was not a complaint, we asked him. So he said, you know, my urine flow is a little less. Now, please remember this case is not even taken on a video call. He's an older gentleman, so he doesn't have so much facility. It was on a mobile phone call. So urinary bladder thickness has increased in 2005 and the flow is a little less. And so he has to wait and then he passes. So he's on some tablet. He has hypertension, which again, he's on some tablet. Past history had left eye vision a little less because there's fogging of lenses and he was given steroid injection. What are his, as Dr. Baskerby told you, we always ask many things. So we continue to ask. So what does he like? He loves sweets and he doesn't like spicy he like, and hot. Now the mind. So here, can you all read since we are all on mobiles and all not on a screen far away, we can all read. So he was a very, you know, very well-versed man. Very he didn't accept anything right from childhood. He accepted nothing 
unless he could verify it himself. So he validated everything, verified question, and then only he believes and accepts. So this is a very unique trait in him. So what would you call it in homeopathic language? You could call it inquisitiveness, curiosity. You could call it stubbornness, so many things. So everybody as a child, they were called him very obstinate because he wouldn't accept. He wouldn't accept. So they'll call him mischievous and obstinate. The other things he likes order. Perfectionist, desires order, system, impatient when he wants things done without wasting any time. Even the same thing while talking to you, he wants you to understand without having to repeat in one go, ASAP. So therefore, you is also short-tempered and very impatient. He's intelligent, we know already, high-spirited. He says, I'm quick to perceive and make quick judgments and opinion about somebody. Hence, nobody can really cheat me. But otherwise, he's very sympathetic, feels the pain of others. Like he told me that, uh, you know, my maid, I told her not to come. Actually, they have no maid. But somebody, the watchman's wife, he calls a maid and said, I give her money so that she can look after in this period. It is very difficult. And uh, you can see here, he hates everything, hates all dirt. So whether it is clothes, whether it is you talking badly to him, somebody uh, conduct is good, all kind of dirt he hates. His life space was, he was born in 1940 in Bangalore. Father was an advocate, mother was a housewife, but was much ahead of her time. She was not educated, but she learned English and Hindi. So she was very bright. Three elder sisters, one younger, one elder brother, one younger brother. So he was actually right in the middle, the fifth child out of seven. As a child, he was very inquisitive, would ask a lot of questions, hen labeled disobedient and mischievous. Even till today, he will not accept what anyone says. In fact, one of our team itself has referred this patient because he was staying nearby. And uh, he didn't, one year he, she'd been saying and he didn't come. Till finally he came when the pain became very bad. He does everything himself. He lives with his cousin brother. And between the two of them, they do all the work. So he stitches his own clothes. He does new, new patterns. And they, they have no maid. They do including cleaning, cooking, everything they do. So I think very accomplished gentleman. So as usual, I started what I call living repertory. What does living repertory mean? You all know what is living materia medica, which is my mother was famous for it when she made pictures which came alive for you. Living repertory means doing the repertory and working out the case as the patient is talking. So remember this was lockdown period we had on the mobile and not even a video call. So as he talked of his backache, I punched in those. And surprisingly, the first four rubrics shook me. What do you think it would come? Yeah. So here are the first four. So I took backache. He said turning in bed aggravates, morning rising aggravates, walking ameliorate, warmth ameliorates. You would think it is rust out. It is rust out. But the second only remedy which covers uh, the, all the rubrics was uh, camphor, carcinosin. So I said, okay, this is very strange. So I will not give rust out. Let's explore the case. Okay. So the inquisitive, questioning nature, refusal to accept anything, I called it quite audacious, okay? I was not getting any other rubric, so I called it audacity. Even as a small child, when you keep questioning, it, it takes a lot of courage, right? To, to be questioning adults who normally know everything. So we took artistic, authority refusal to accept somebody's obstinate, audacious, memory active, fastidious we know, order we know, activity, sympathetic, com too compassionate, busy, impatient, dance. So he's into music and dance a lot. And that's what he is doing here. Company desire for fear of high places from childhood. It has still been there. Travel he likes and mischievous. So what do you think will cover? Rustox or carcinosin? So here is the working and carcinosin covers everything except mischievous, but I took audacity to uh, take care of that rubric. 
Now what is left? So we've done the uh, chief complaint, we've done the mind, and now we've some physicals are left. So flatulence, flatulence in the afternoon. Remember, we thought it would be like oh, so back there were a few rubrics left, so I took those and the sweets which he desires. And again, you had carcinosin. See, it is it is because it is very low marks, it is the sixth, but it's the only one with phosphorus covering every single thing. So the only medicine covering every aspect of mind, body and chief complaint was carcinosin. By this time, I had talked to the referring physician and learned that he was gay. And actually the cousin he lived with is his partner. So imagine how, how different he was. We are talking about a completely different generation, 60 years ago. And when I had asked him, why are you not married? Or why did you not marry? He said, I saw everybody around, nobody was really happy, everybody had problems, then I decided I would never marry. So, this was the thing. But you see how loyal he is. Again, carcinosin, another trait is loyalty. They've been living together for 60 years. And he always says, I'm living with my cousin, we do the same work. And so that is it. Then in, for homosexual, my only thing, I wanted to find a rubric. So I found only thing, love, same-sex, male, only puja, medorinum, sulfur, and few other remedies were there. No car. So it means that it was a very psychotic, more kind of a thing. But anyway, the above was enough for me. I didn't need for carcinosin to cover it. And so I gave him carcinosin, and that year old backache went away. So quick on the draw. Okay. So here is the full working of all the rubrics. The only thing it hasn't covered is that mischievous this. I should have taken it away, but I wanted it to be there, so I kept it. So 15620, we gave him carcinosin 202 powders in water, BD, and cyclic otherwise. By 26, he was 40% better. Continuous pain has gone. So we are talking about so quick for a one-year-old complaint. Slight pain still there while turning in bed, which is at level two. So I write down all my complaints at levels from zero to 10. So every complaint is like that. Flatulence was better. So we gave Saclec and we gave Inulin for that constipation. Inulin, of course, is an oligofructose, which works very well on the large intestine and clears up your stomach. It's a natural prebiotic. So on six, seven, he was better but backache was still there at L2, so I gave him carcinosin, one in, two powders, one into two. Four, eight, much better, back pain is completely gone except for one small spot, which is still there. So we said, okay, that's it, we have to watch. So we are watching, four, eight, we are only on 15, eight now, we have not even finished two weeks. So what have you understood about carcinosin? We have, we have to talk about carcinosin. Okay, a little bit. So from other authoritative viewpoints, carcinosin is a very good remedy, but still not used as much. Ma'am? Yes, time? You have two minutes. Two, okay, four minutes, four. So <laughs> too many fears, alone, disease, crowd, let themselves be taken care of, and therefore they're suppressed, they're better being carried. Then they have resentment because they are dependent, and then there is one frenetic breaking out of anger and then there is breakdown and weakness and then the cycle is complete. This is what her skew says. So where is carcinosin to be used? Family history, strong family history. This gives child cancer myism, not predisposition. Therefore, child may be carcinosin, whereas parents may not be. Rarely do parents need carcinosin and children do not because there has to be a certain level built up and then you come carcinosin. So if the parents already have it, then the child will get the level. Okay. It is destined to be the nosod of this age, just as tuberculinum was the star of Kent's day. There are shadows of medorinum in this nosod, the hyperactivity, increased sexual desire and so on. Some indications, intense fear, fear of incurable disease, anxiety, violent, uncontrollable anger, knows wrong but cannot control, great contradiction, intelligent and artistic or dull and idiotic, loves thunderstorm, cravings again, cravings or aversion for the same thing, tendency to bleed and lot of congenital abnormalities and genetic conditions. 
mentors excessive sense of duty we've seen it in this case too takes life too seriously high degree of commitment agonizes over every decision can never take it easy unlike tuberculosis undue effort on everything job hobby sport guilt is often a consequence i could have done better so whitmon calls carcinosin the penalty for the unlived life how to distinguish carcinosin and medorinum or tuberculosis cancer is just a stepped up of chaotic process of growth so in gonorrhea and tuberculosis there is a foreign particle a poison so there is cruelty and hardness in that whereas in carcinosin it is light so there is always concern regard for others which is fundamental to carcinosin and is the source of some is pathology so one is immediately drawn to the carcinosin child just like the phosphorus and likewise to the adult it is light and warm without the dark shadow of the other two nosos the high sexual urge is simply the adult manifestation carcinosin realizes casual sex is not for her and long term is what they want so although one feels the sexual intensity of carcinosin it is not the kind of energy puts one on guard unlike medorinum so we have carcinosin you can uh, a sing man's of singular build and mind as if from a single piece earnest inquiring a brahmin to the core meticulous to a fault carries too far pushes too hard like some small car with engine oversize a crusader a martyr a fundamentalist of a kind fall victim to his own zeal to undo all he came who could wit again cancer if die you must but suffer not dash against a running car this one manu kothari said or jump into the area you can see for these are better that's by far but you can also face cancer with a little bit of humor says manu kothari my final word before i'm done is cancer can be rather fun provided one confront the tumor with a sufficient sense of humor okay so it's a homeop it can do great harm till you have carcinosin the homeopathic healer the morbid material potentized to hold back the hand of disease and of death So I want to thank all of you to come in large numbers for our webinar, for our inaugural webinar. You will be getting a June-July issue very soon, a combo as we are lagging behind, and the August issue by now. Oh, these are free online versions. Hopefully by September we'll have the print version. Do we have sent you a form? Do write which version you like. Wonderful, ma'am. Thank you so much. That was the uh, you know shortest version of. power packed knowledge about carcinosin i could see really nice